people like have certain things that are standard in, in their home decor and yep. like we want our stuff to become part of that. We want yep. cannabis ob objects that are involved. Objet de cannabis? Objet de cannabis. Did we just coin a oh. phrase? <laughs> Objet de cannabis. Objet de cannabis. Objet de cannabis. Friends since the age of 12, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg have written some of the most memorable cannabis-infused comedies of the 21st century, including Superbad, This Is The End, and Pineapple Express, as well as produced some of TV's most off-kilter hits, such as Pam and Tommy and The Boys. Known for scripting their hits under various altered states, Goldberg and Rogen took their love of cannabis to the next level last year with the launch of Houseplant, a cannabis lifestyle brand that started with three strains of cannabis and a handful of smoking accessories and in the last year has blossomed into a full-fledged lifestyle brand that includes ceramics, furniture, and a wide range of home goods. We recently caught up with Goldberg and Rogan to talk about the brand's first year, their plans moving forward, and to get a look at Houseplant House, part showroom, part clubhouse, private space in Hollywood where they can take meetings, get high, and showcase their ever-expanding collection of lifestyle goods. I'm Adam Shorn, and this is The Green Room. These are things I've made, which we have around the house as well. Um, they're not for sale. They're, uh, yeah, I don't think they are. No one's, no one's, no one's tried, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the classiest thing we have. Yeah, this over is the probably gravity the classiest class. You just thing, purely yeah. have to be like in an adult mood to uh, use this in any capacity. This is the car lighter, which this is the best product for me. Personally. We were, we were proud of ourselves. <laughs> <at this one. laughs> and it, yeah. it like creates anticipation. It really is how does. I feel. You're yeah. sitting there waiting, and then it pops. It's wildly nostalgic. Not that you yeah. should, but uh, for a, I think all of high school, we pretty much exclusively smoked weed in my friend's Subaru Outback. We started with flour and uh, ashtrays that we designed. Um, we have new uh, tins on the way, which are a little easier to open because uh, these are, you know, uh, they're, they're, these are not they're the easiest to open <laughs> tins in the world. That's but, gonna be one of my questions about uh, like what things you, you've learned. In yeah, that's one that, thing. Like, yeah, I mean, that's one thing we learned is like yeah. our tins were a little more difficult to open than people uh, liked. And uh, we talk, you know, uh, every week almost, we have calls with, the dispensaries that actually sell our weed. And me and yep. Evan will Zoom with the bud tenders and the people yep. who work there and the yep. people who own just them. Just encourage them to um, say something negative. We very much <laughs> encourage really them to give us feedback. They, they were very like, people love the weed. They're thrilled about it. It's a little harder to open than they would prefer. And, and so we did that. But in general, because of that, it's been very positive. Yeah, we have a lot of these ashtray sets in, in more and more colors, which is nice. People really like these. Different people like different colors. We um, learned that. They're so lovely. Um, yeah, and these are designed off of one of the first things I started making when I started uh, doing ceramics. These Th are great. These are great. Which is like, it's like a little uh, joint you can put You can put case. joints and knickknacks. Yeah. You got a lighter and a, a little, little spot for joints that you've already smoked half of. A little adorable yeah. lighter. So it keeps the like a uh, half, half smoked smell away from the yeah. other stuff. And then wait. Oh, and there's oh, a wallet. Credit card. Uh, yeah. License. So which of these things do you think you were, you were talking about earlier about like things that stand the test of time that are gonna be in people's homes for a long time. Of all the things that you've put out so far or even maybe things in development, what, what is there one thing that you think will or hope will be around 20, 30, 50 years yeah. from now? I think these I basic think, ashtrays. I think yeah. just this design of an ashtray, like which already weirdly is like linked to me and our company. Um, I think this will be around and it's strange. Like uh, to like, we've been making movies for 15 years. There's not one thing in movies where people are like, that's like Seth and Evan. But this <laughs> ashtray, we did this. Yeah. Like uh, it is intrinsically like uh, a thing that I think will be associated with us and, and I think it is a design that holds up that like, we really created. Are you still having fun? I feel great. I feel good. We're having lots of fun. Yeah. We, yeah, uh, we kind of like, a big goal of ours was to get to pre-rolled joints. Now coming into the world uh, are these pre-rolled joints and it kind of shows that we can execute things and plan yeah. things simultaneously, which is a good thing to know that you can do. And uh, yeah, it's the fact that we're still here is uh, to me incredibly <laughs> encouraging. <laughs> it's unbelievably thrilling. It just like keeps evolving. Like th these pre-roll joints are incredible. Then there's beverages and there's like so many other things that are obviously gonna come after those things. And we just, you know, yeah. slowly but steadily are expanding. And so it's fun because like it's enough time to like really sink our teeth into everything step by step yeah. without getting too fast. Like I, yeah. I like the pace it's going at. Yeah. I make actual things that people want in their homes is, yeah, yeah it's, a, it, it's a strange and lovely and new feeling. <laughs> it came about as 
like a place to sort of build out your brand, not like it grow. just was an office yeah. at first. Yeah. Yeah. It we was really, really thought we were like we'll be, put yeah. cubicles here and there and there and yeah. there. And we just realized we needed a place like this and that yeah. like yeah. because of the whole nature of the company. And that painted Westphalia makes me wonder you're not branching into that vehicles, is, are you? That, <laughs> that, is, that is the CEO Michael Moore's uh, van that he bought to go camping in that breaks and is currently broken. It is broken down in the driveway. But, but it does. <laughs> but, it, but it fits with the vibe. Yeah, exactly. It really fits with the vibe. If you don't have a Volkswagen van broken down in your driveway, are you really a weed company? Any like celebrity founded weed company um, has kind of a higher standard it has to live up to in every way because it's more scrutinized, you well, know? And I think that's something that like we really understand and our weed has to be phenomenal, better than you hope it's gonna be. And our joints have to be better than you hope it's gonna be. And when you order one of our products, it has to be better than you hope it's gonna be or else it'll play into your fear of what this company is. We wanted to make these like mix tape, essentially records of yeah. like, that went along with different strains. We also, blah, blah, blah. we also both very much like records. Yeah. Yes. We have record players, we like them. We've got lists of hundreds of songs and we slowly sent them around to each other and to the people of the had company. To get, well, had and, to get and, license, the license, right? Uh, yeah, we them? got songs that we can license. Yeah. And, uh, and we went with mostly songs we like had not known. Some of them are songs we love, but yeah. a lot of them were just new to us because we just wanted yeah. to find stuff that was exciting and new. People really liked these and, and it was, and it's weird. And, and it's one of those things where like, as we describe our company, it is hard to, classify what we do a little bit because it's like oh well we sell ashtrays and records yeah. which is not a yeah. thing a lot of people do but to us it's intuitive yeah. and seems connected is there, is there is there any part of the creative process that you can't do high well also like which is why we made a cannabis company like we put uh, a maybe insane amount of thought into what we're smoking and yeah. when we're smoking it yeah, yeah, yeah. because we love smoking weed it helps us do our jobs, it helps us live our lives, and if we don't strategize correctly, it's like going to Disneyland with a bad plan. Yeah, exactly. You know, like it just ruins everything. Goes to <laughs> hell, everyone's crying at the end. You could love yeah. Disneyland, but have a bad time. Yeah, but have a very bad <laughs> But if you actually put thought towards it and, and choose the right strain for the right moment, yeah. it, it makes a big difference, I think. Yeah. Do you remember, have any recollection of what you were smoking when you were working on Pineapple Express? Uh, I mean, we didn't live a charmed life of yeah, cannabis. No, of the, uh, yeah, no. Connoisseurs of cannabis uh, back then. No, we whatever would get, the whatever. dealer would sell us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it was around the time. Northern Lights were flying around. LA. There was this uh, gold champagne, I think. It juicy, was fruit. That juicy, was fruit. juicy fruit. Juicy fruit. Juicy fruit. There was a lot of juicy fruit. Where do you think you guys will be product wise? The filling out the universe, the house plant universe. We just started, just to, yeah. to know what works more, to like know which things we like to focus on. Like we're yeah. we're just beginning the journey, so I, I I say this house, but more developed. Yeah, I think so too, and and hopefully the climate in in America will be different uh, then. You know, I think we seem to be maybe inching towards federal legalization, but like it's still, you know, uh, as long as the climate is what it is, which is like this incredibly terrible and racist war on drugs is being uh, waged in, you know, half the country. Um, it, it, it will never be where it should be until until America like reconciles that horrific thing that's happening. Do you guys feel that you have a responsibility ha having a high profile uh, uh, such as you do to, to, to draw attention? I guess, I mean, responsibility makes it seem like it's something we don't want to do, you, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's, it is a part of our beliefs, it's a part of, you know, the company's, like, structure is when we, when we created it. It was one of the things we talked a lot about, you know, and coming from Canada to America, it, it I think we have a slightly outsider's perspective a little bit on just how, um, like horrifically unjust uh, the entire climate around weed is. And uh, yeah, we, we feel uh, like we are in a position to help and to maybe move the needle. And, and so we, we, we take that seriously and we try to do it. So coming at it one item at a time. We yeah. come at it that we like love weed and it feels like we grew up thinking about it so much and putting so much thought into how to enjoy it. How yeah. I literally remember being a kid and thinking like, imagine when I'm older, I can have my own house and smoke weed sitting on my couch. Like yeah. that was like yeah. a thing I would think about. Yeah. 
as like a 14 year old. <laughs> and so now that I'm an adult and can do it, it's very gratifying in that we can like make things to make that experience more yeah. full and complete. Weed is a strange and unique thing. So I think it's okay that the company that we've made is a strange and unique company because weed is like a hard to classify thing. It's something yeah. that makes you want to listen to music and it's something that you also maybe need a standing ashtray for. <laughs> right. So And it's it, different it, things yeah. to different people. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got to make a lot of things. Yeah, so we got to make a lot of things. <laughs>